Alright guys, today I'm going to show you how to solve the 3 by 3 Rubik's Cube. Um, it involves 7 steps. Part 1 is cross. No, 8 steps. Part 1 is cross on the yellow side. Part 2 is cross on the white side. Part 3 is put solve the white side and put all the corner pieces of the white in their correct spot. Part 4 is solve the second layer. Part five is to do the yellow cross. Part six is to put all the edge pieces of the cross in the correct place. And part seven puts all the corner pieces in their correct spot when not solved. And part and the last part is to solve the cube. So I'm gonna need you guys to know these rotations I'm going to show you right now. This when you, you R stands for right side of the cube, so this is the R movement R. When there is a prime, then it's you do the how do you say clock. When you there's no um when there's no when there's no when there's not a prime, you do it clockwise. When you do it, when there's a prime, you do it counterclockwise like this. So this is R, this is R prime, this is L prime, this is L, this is U, this is U prime, and this is, and that's all I'm gonna need to know. And and there are, there are two organs that are the main algorithms in the cube that you're going to use, I think, three times. So the first algorithm you're going to want to do is called R, R, U, R prime, U prime. So you're going to do like this, R, U, R prime, U prime. You're going to want to train that. And so you can do those moves automatically. And what's very nice about this algorithm is when you do it six times it goes the cube goes from that it goes to the same spot that was before so let's do the same thing with the last side but now it's l prime u prime l u and you can try that until, until you do the most automatically and then you repeat it six times the cube is going to be solved so this is only the introduction of the beginner's method and yeah, let's learn now how to solve. Hope you guys enjoyed and see you next time. Bye.